Hey everybody, it's your pal Sal with Sal Dougie's House of Cards, though some of you may know me as Abraham. Starting this channel out to start documenting my collection. Like many people, I got involved in card collecting as a child. My mom used to give me uh, Milwaukee Brewers cards from Bags of Gardener's Bread, and that really sparked a uh, passion for me for baseball, Milwaukee Brewers, and card collecting. I collected from probably the ages of 7 to 12, which was a lot of those uh, late 80s, early 90s, overproduction era. Uh, and then uh, when I became a teenager, I kind of set collecting aside. I did keep a shoebox full of my favorite cards from that era, but at that point I did downsize pretty significantly. As the years went on, I would kind of rip a pack every once in a while. I'd go to a local card shop and, and pick out a pack of whatever the current year of tops was, maybe some old junk wax. And tear it up, but really more for the excitement of, of ripping those packs again and not really about uh, building a collection. Uh, but then in 2019, I kind of got the bug again. I started by buying some junk wax packs off eBay for cheap and really replicating that experience of ripping those packs open and, and finding those cards and those brewers and, and the excitement that came with it. And that kind of led me towards uh, more modern cards and getting in, involved with uh, modern releases and seeing what the new products were and getting involved in finding out what my favorite cards to collect in that series are. Um, but mostly I'm in it to collect Milwaukee Brewers. Um, that's my, the main goal of my collection is really to try to build that Brewers collection through unique uh, cards. I, I, I give away most of my duplicates, um, but I do have, I think, uh, over 3,300 unique Milwaukee Brewers cards currently and uh, always kind of growing and, and trying to build that number up. Uh, and that number I know because uh, another big part of my collecting experience was um, creating an account on tradingcarddatabase.com. Uh, it was a great opportunity to accurately catalog my cards and get involved with a great trading community, list my want list, list my for sale list, and, and make, I think, I'm around 130 completed trades on Traded Card Database. And I've just had so many great trades throughout the year and so many cool cards I wanted to start uh, kind of documenting and cataloging that on video and, and showing everyone uh, what you can find on there and what you can trade for. So uh, before we get into the items that I have to share today, um, we'll talk about our uh, background print here. This is a Norman Rockwell print that I bought in uh, Rutland, Vermont. I was uh, traveling and I was in Rutland and they had a Norman Rockwell Museum and I went and checked it out because I've always kind of been a fan. My dad was an art teacher one of the assignments I remember giving, giving his class was to make their own copy of a cover of a Saturday Evening Post. And the example that he brought for the class, uh, my mother and I modeled for, and it was a kitchen scene of her uh, singing opera while doing the dishes and me uh, with my hands clamped over my ears and an exasperated look on my face. So uh, Norman Rockwell, always kind of one of my favorites and, and definitely a cool uh, memory sparked every time I see uh, some of his work. So I uh, got this great baseball print, always uh, uh, kind of been a favorite of mine. So that's what we're going around uh, with for the background today. And then we'll go ahead and get into some of those items that I have to show off today. Our first item is not a card. It's an item that I picked up for free on Twitter, uh, a very generous uh, Twitter user at MJP underscore MKE uh, was offering these uh, free they are 2008 Milwaukee Journal Sentinel magnets. I also collect magnets, stickers, and pins. So happy to add this to my magnet collection. Uh, we got Corey Hart here. Uh, definitely a favorite brewer uh, on some of those playoff teams and in the uh, aughts and uh, early 2010s. And uh, I think uh, All-Star a couple times for Milwaukee. Super fun player to watch. Lots of great memories of watching Corey play baseball. Um, so super excited to go ahead and stick this one on my fridge. Our second item is a trading card database trade. So we'll take a look here. And we have first Christian Yelich 2020 opening day. I did not have the opening day uh, version. Uh, so I got that one ticked off on my trading card database collection. And the rest we got here is one of my favorite sets here. This is uh, 1992 FLIR Ultra. 92 and 93 FLIR Ultra. I thought were absolutely gorgeous sets uh, and still do. Uh, so first we got Edwin Nunez, kind of a journeyman uh, pitcher with a short brewer's career. William Suero, uh, kind of uh, always looking to pick up William Suero cards. He was a rookie in 92 along with Pit, uh, Pat Listash. 
Uh, Listash ended up winning that Rookie of the Year in 92. Uh, and Swirl had some good moments that season, too. And it really seemed like the Brewers might have a you know, pretty powerful uh, middle of the infield. But both of those guys ended up not, uh, not really working out after that. So, But always happy to put a William Swirl in the co collection. Uh, Jamie Navarro, you know, longtime Brewer for sure. Had a couple good seasons, but um, had many, many more frustrating seasons. So uh, not my favorite player, but... Uh, He's uh he's a brewer, so we're looking to add him to the collection. So Jamie, and then another one that kind of fits that bill, and that's Tim McIntosh. Really more because uh, of when Tim uh, came up as a rookie, there was a lot of hype in the cards about him. Uh, so there's lots of cool Tim McIntosh future stars and rookie cards and that kind of stuff. Uh, but he did not turn out to be a future star at all. So uh, always happy to take another one off the uh, the want list. But uh, Tim McIntosh, not one of my favorite brewers. All right, our next item is another trading card database trade. I completed this one a little bit bigger and has a couple other teams in it, as we can see right here with this beautiful 1993 Mo Vaughn. Uh, Mo Vaughn, one of my favorite players, and uh, 93, one of my favorite sets. So I kind of pick up the stars through there that I that I like. Uh, this is a um, an insert set that I really like from uh, I think it's 2020 Topps Allen and Ginter. It's uh, Field Generals. This is Wilson Contreras. I have a few other from this set. I have this whole set on my want list, so periodically I am able to pick these up in trades. Uh, proof that I will trade for Cub cards occasionally. And uh, I guess another note, uh, uh, Wilson's brother William uh, yesterday traded the Milwaukee Brewers in, a, in quite the coup for the Brewers, getting uh, William Contreras and uh, giving up only Esoteria Ruiz. So Very timely. Here we've got a 2020 Allen and Ginter Robin Yount. And then we have a 2019 Gypsy Queen, uh, Jeremy Jeffries. Uh, Jeremy, definitely one of my favorite brewers. Uh, a big time reliever on some playoff teams. Speaking of big time uh, relievers on playoff teams, we got uh, Josh Hader, another uh, uh, Gypsy Queen. This one looks a little bit newer, maybe 2020 or 2021. I'm not sure. They kind of all blend together after a while, but. Uh, you may remember last season, a uh, big turning point for the Milwaukee Brewers was trading uh, Josh Hader to the San Diego Padres. Uh, Brewers were off to a pretty great start, had a nice uh, lead over the Cardinals, and uh, once they traded Hader to the Padres, things just kind of slipped away from them. And then we got some of the 2022 base set here. Uh, we got the Milwaukee Brewers team card. Uh, I'm always a, a fan of team cards, so excited to have this one. Uh, we got Yelich and Willie Adamas giving the high five. Big Dan Vogelbach, uh, definitely a Brewer fan favorite, kind of a shorter uh, stint overall, but some big home runs for the Brew Crew, and uh, always fun to watch when even when he's on other teams, so that's a great ad. Uh, Josh Hader, Adrian Hauser, starting pitcher for the Brewers, thought he might get traded um, last season potentially, but he's still a Milwaukee Brewer. And Brandon Woodruff, all-star pitcher for the Milwaukee Brewers, a big time favorite of mine, so Always happy to add Woodruff cards to the collection. And then next we have an item I purchased on Twitter. This I purchased from user, uh, let's see, Twitter account CCC underscore collects. It is a 2022 Topps Archive uh, fan favorite autograph. So just a beautiful card of beloved fan favorite Jeff Jenkins, Mr. Brewer. Uh, in that 1972 tops design, very cool and beautiful signature on that one. So, not a huge autograph collector, but I do like the autograph cards, and uh, there was a good price on this one, and uh, just such a cool card. So I, I snapped that one up. And then our final uh, item is a pay it forward from uh, a Twitter user um, that 70s card show or at 70s card on Twitter. Uh, I made a comment on a Reggie Jackson Jiffy Pop discard that I thought was absolutely beautiful. And uh, John was uh, so nice to offer it up and sent a couple other uh, cards along with it. So we'll uh, go ahead and take a look at that beautiful Reggie Jackson Jiffy Pop. Let's see if we can pick off the year on this one. Uh, maybe 86 with those 85 stats on there. Um, but just uh, Reggie Jackson, one of my favorite players, absolutely. Looks like uh, California Angels on this one. Um, I absolutely love food releases and discards, so this is a huge add to the personal collection. So thanks again, uh, John. I really appreciate that one. And then he did throw in a couple more here. We've got uh, a Phil Esposito card here in the 90 Pro Set Hockey uh, set. Um, 
definitely had some of these uh, in my younger years. I don't think any of these made it through, maybe one or two. Uh, but I have always collected uh, not only baseball, but uh, football, basketball, and hockey as well. And uh, Boston Bruins are my favorite hockey team. So another ad for my Bruins PC. And then we have this uh, Ernie Banks uh, Tops. I think it was Archives. Um, yeah, Tops Archives. I'm not sure what year, but uh, what a beautiful card. The great Ernie Banks, another uh, favorite player for sure. So very cool. Uh, I've got uh, a sticker and a Christmas card that came along with that. So we'll throw that sticker on camera real quick in case anybody is interested in checking out that 70s card show. I highly recommend it. It's a great watch. Uh, but yeah, that's what I had uh, to show everybody today. So uh, thanks for watching. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, all that great stuff. And I look forward to making more videos in the future.